the track tuned powerhouse SUV is here. George has given us the 2022 Audi RS Q8 in your Daytona pearl gray metallic here at Audi of Clearwater. What's new? You're gonna get more standard driver assist features. New RS design package, which we have. Black optic package, we have that as well. Just 51 horsepower less than your Lamborghini Urus. And you know what? That's almost half the price tag with the luxury appointed interior the latest technology, longer warranty, performance that makes this truly the best SUV ever. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and we're going to go over all the specs and details starting now. Audi RS Q8 black optic package is going to add all that high gloss black polish, which I do like it. Resculpted honeycomb grille, the RS Q8 badging. It's so subtle, it's almost like a stealth. You can barely see it. X frame styled matrix design LED headlamps with auto high beam assist. A height of 66.7 inches, which is about an inch and a half taller than the Lamborghini. If you're comparing it to the BMW X5 M competition, that one's going to be taller. The the width at 78.7 inches, which is almost an inch and a half less than the Lamborghini and the BMW will be wider. But the set of this is going to really be impressive when somebody's looking at it at a rear view perspective. I like everything on the lower trim because everything with the high gloss and even with that Daytona gray pearl, it just really sets a nice touch. You got the honeycomb in the lower area and over here as well. The front parking sensors, you barely can see them at all, especially if you're looking at it up here. They just really encase well. I like the longer hood that proportions into these 23 inch Audi spoke five Y spoke rotor design wheels. 16.5 inches is the disc reading. It's ventilated. You got the black calipers with the RS. You got 14.6 ventilated in the rear. Audi RS tune adaptive air suspension with active ride stabilization for the front and rear, which basically helps with cornering, keeping this thing on the track because this is crazy speed. Quattro Sport rear differential, a length 197.3 inches. That wheelbase is going to be 117.9. Comparing it back to the BMW, it's going to be a longer exterior and the wheelbase will be longer. Because we got that black optic package, the exterior trim comes into play. You got the high glass on the side view mirror caps all across all of the window trim and those roof rails. Dual pane acoustic glass, intersection assist, power soft closing doors and traffic sign recognition is all part of that package. So it just keeps that sleek look. And when you look at this vehicle in different angles when the sun hits it, it literally gives you almost a two different dimensional look. I also like the fact that the fenders are the same color as the body because that way you don't have to worry about anything for the longevity. It's going to keep that styling look and it definitely gives you more of a sedan slash SUV, but raw performance is what you're getting out of this. All those lines, they just encase into those LED tail lights that integrate over the whole rear. You got the black rings for your Audi symbol, RS Q8 badging, lower roof spoiler, RS exhaust outlets. These are oval. It is RS spec. You're going to have a nice throaty exhaust, which we'll hear in just a few seconds. You got the honeycomb grill in the lower part of diffuser as well. I wouldn't really touch this for towing. However, you can tow up to 7,700 pounds. You have your 360 degree reverse camera. I don't necessarily like the non-functional vents that they added, but for performance, I get what they're doing. Comparing it against the BMW X5 competition, this one can tow more, a payload of over 900 pounds. So thing is insane because you're getting all of this speed, which we're gonna go into the numbers in a second, and yet you still have a practical use everyday vehicle. Power tailgate go inside to 30.5 cubic feet, which is more than the BMW. Storage compartments on the side. You could raise and lower the suspension height from the rear. The rear bench split folds at a 40-20-40 split, maxing the cargo to 60.7 cubic feet. Let's go inside this RS Q8 
Hear that exhaust now. The Audi RS Q8 packs the punch with performance from a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 producing 591 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque that's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission or Tiptronic achieving 13 to 19 miles per gallon, which you're not gonna really care when you're getting into this section. Zero to 60, 3.7 seconds, a top speed at 189 miles per hour, which is only a touch slower than the Lamborghini Urus and the BMW X5 M competition. So, I mean, you're getting specs that literally can keep up with the Lamborghini, offer a fraction of the price. The styling, I like where it's at. It definitely has that sleek profile. You got the air suspension. You got all the luxury, which we're gonna go into. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2022 Audi RS Q8 as we go into the interior, go over the tech and finish this review. Entering inside the Audi RS Q8, you're gonna get soft closed doors to start off with, 37.1 inches of headroom, 41.6 inches of legroom, power adjustments, seats, heated, ventilated, honeycomb pattern. You got the contrast stitching, the RS badged inside. Because of that black optic package, it's going to get the extended leather. The front seats will have that massage in a heads up display. The RS design package adds a Alcantara leather upper and lower elements, black seat belts with red edges, RS logo on the floor mats. The setup is going to be very luxurious and yet this is a powerhouse, so you have to remember that whenever we're going through the review. You have the extended leather package as well, so everything is pretty much leather or Alcantara. You got the Quattro badging on the high gloss black polish that integrates into the 10.1 Audi MMI infotainment. You have the pinch, you have the swipe. This has your wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth connectivity. Going over your tech, hit the home button here so we can go into your vehicle settings, which is where everybody wants to see. You have your Audi Drive Select. This will change it to different modes here. You can also program your RS1 and RS2 to make it as sport derived as you like. And every single thing, as you can see, can get a little bit more noisy if you need it, or a little bit more quiet, just depending on how you like to do your driving. Click back your seat settings. This is also super cool because you also have your massage. So whenever you're sliding through here, you can just put it in. And I honestly love the massage. I usually do it when I'm driving the vehicles because it is super soft and comfortable and relaxing. Your driving assist, you can individually turn things on and off as well. A lower screen, 8.6 inches, more derived for your air condition. You got your quick buttons here for your driver select, Alcantara on the gear lever, the gloss black goes in between with the carbon fiber inlays. Cup holders is pretty good. You can fit a 16.9 ounce water bottle. A 20 ounce I would say is kind of sort of max. The only plastic that you'll see also is in the cup holder area, which also has a key fob holder and a 12 volt. Opening up in here to your Audi phone box, some storage in an area that you could put a smaller cell phone as well. And it also adjusts to make it easier for you. The seats, the bolstering just feels really aggressive, especially when you hit that RS button that's on this Alcantara steering wheel with the RS badging. You got the Audi grille in the center. You got your paddle shifters and you got the gloss black in between it as well. And Alcantara tear is literally all over it. They really pay attention to detail. Even on the sides, you'll get that with that carbon fiber. So I really like how they're paying attention to detail. Gauge cluster, it's going to be Audi virtual cockpit. It's a 12.3. You can change the viewpoints to make it large or small, and you can change from your navigation. You can go into your stereo, you can go into your phone, and back to your navigation, and you'll have that boomerang effect for the RS whenever you go into the sport mode. I like how the air vents look like it's pretty much seamless through the whole dash and the way the stitching and everything is set up. Edgeless rear view mirror, large panoramic moon roof, optional Bang & Awesome 3D Premier Sound. We have it, it's 23 speakers, 
1920 watts 23 channel amplifier which is just crazy origin the door panel you can fit four or five 16.9 ounce water bottles contrast stitching alcantara you got the carbon fiber one touch up and down for all the windows memory seat for the driver let's check out the back seats for the back seat i'm at 38.1 inches of headroom 40.2 inches of legroom you get the honeycomb and the rs badging in the seat dual climate control heated ventilated rear seats two usb c ports and a 12 volt some storage area air vents in the center storage behind both of the front seats and air vents on the side pillar with your power sunshades which they didn't offer this last year model so I like the fact that they're doing it because the price point is right at almost $150,000. As for the door panel, you get the contrast stitching, you get the carbon fiber, one touch up and down for both of the windows. You also get a little ashtray. Storage is the best part. You can literally fit three to four 16.9 ounce water bottles. As for the elbows, soft on both sides because it's full leather. As for storage here, 16.9 ounce is pretty much the just of it. 20 is gonna be too hard. The floor is not completely flat. However, you can adjust these seats up to give extra cargo, and you can also recline these back, if I can find the handle, just a touch. So we're gonna move this back with it reclined. See how I look in the center. With the seats reclined or not, I don't think I'm gonna have any issue. Headroom, not bothering anything. I will say if I sit here, my head's gonna be grazing the headliner. As for leg space, it doesn't matter that I'm blocking air vents and I have plenty of room because we have over 40 inches of leg room and we have a substantial amount of room for feet and shoulder space because the car is pretty wide. So you can fit three adults my size. But with any RS Q8, the best part is you can hear that exhaust note even with these dual pane windows. Switching to reverse, you do have full trajectory, 360 degree reverse camera. Super easy to see everything. Click onto here and you can change different views and there's a lot of them. So it really does make it easy for your reversing or anything like that. Click here, the 3D, which is the best. And I like it because you can use this side here. You don't have to worry about over here like you do in BMWs. You can literally just play with it any which way you want and see any obstructions and it makes it super easy to see for your reverse. I would like to thank George here at Audi and Clearwater for giving us this 2022 Audi RS Q8 for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button, check out the details of merchandise and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rocks.